what is perspective graph tool and how to use it this is the perspective graph tool when you hover over it it will give you a, a short uh, description of it craps an image to correct distortion caused by the perspective let's say for this image it has a perspective view of this curve i mean of this side how are we going to crop this and flatten that out in a straight orientation so for that we are going to illustrate the perspective crop tool right click on this and click on the perspective crop tool click on this and another click on here also here and last click here and click checked so it will create it will flatten out that perspective image into this into this one so let's say you can also control z to revert it back you can type the size from here before you crop it let's say eight inches in width and four inches in height then start clicking first point second point third and fourth and click check or press enter and it will crop that image from the perspective view into a flattened and straight uh, orientation in a with a size of eight inches in width and four inches in height press ctrl z to revert back you can choose size in pixel also let's say 1000 pixel and 400 pixel of 5 you can also choose millimeter but for this we are going to illustrate pixel then make sure you activate the the tool the perspective crop tool click 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 and click check it will it will create with that uh, size what you can do also is to add a resolution let's say we are going to add 300 so it will make the image uh, bigger or high resolution the default resolution is around 72 300 is uh, is more it's more likely for the quality photos so put 300 and start clicking here here also and here or any perspective view that you want to take a sample and flatten that out click check press ctrl 1 so it will zoom it in press ctrl z press ctrl 0 to fit on the screen what you can do also, you can let's say you want to create this perspective, let's say with a size of 500 or 100 mm to 100 mm with a resolution of 300. You can change this also, let's say pixels per pixel in inch, I mean pixels per inch. Or pixel per centimeter but we are going to choose the default but per inch so click on that and here also and click checked and it will give you a flatten of that image of that of that corner you can click on the other side also front image that means it will copy the size of the canvas and it will crop with that size let's say i'm going to crop this click 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 and click click check so it will create the same size of the of the canvas of the workspace so that's front image that clear it will clear these inputs so it will clear the inputs and uh, show and show grid line 
let's say I'm creating the selection here of crop I can uncheck the show grid line and it will remove that grid grids or these lines so that's uh, show show grid or unshow if you uncheck it it will remove the grid and click check and it will crop that way press ctrl z if you then specify the size it will create a default size based on the identification of photoshop on the image so if you create crop that way it will create the size if you want to know the size you can go to image and image size and you can see the size here the width the height if you want to check by per inch or by millimeter for you to define what's the width and height you can do that way and the resolution now click cancel so that's perspective crop tool in photoshop i hope this video tutorial helps you and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching